Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. This math problem is being shared around Facebook, and one of the recent posts has over 2 million comments. I've seen this post being shared since December, but for some reason it's getting really popular right now, and the mainstream media is talking about how this problem is baffling the internet. So I wanted to address the problem in this video and discuss what many people believe to be the correct answer. Can you figure it out? So we can consider this as a math problem if you consider the apple, the banana, and the coconut as different variables and they're having numerical values. We'll start out with the first equation that three apples are equal to 30. If we divide both sides by three, we get the result that one apple is equal to 10. This is generally an accepted part of the problem. We'll use the information of the apple in the second equation and this is where things get a little more debatable. So the apple is equal to 10, and then if you look at the rest of the equation, you have two different bunches of bananas. Now some people consider one whole bunch of banana as one variable, but I would consider counting each banana separately. So there are actually four bananas in each bunch, so you'd want to count that there are an eight, total of eight different single bananas. And that equals 18. So we subtract by 10 and then divide by eight, we get the result that each banana is equal to one. We now have the equation that four bananas minus a full coconut is equal to two. So we have four minus the coconut equals two. We can solve this to get that the coconut is equal to two. Now even people who agree up to this point still might have a debate about the very last line, which is what you're supposed to evaluate. Because if you look closely, there's some differences in our pictures. We don't have a full coconut, we actually have a half coconut. So if a full coconut is equal to two, then a half coconut would be equal to one. So we have one for the coconut, we add 10 for the apple, and finally people still get confused at this point because we don't have four bananas. If you look closely, we actually only have three bananas. So you wanna add three at this point, and you get one plus 10 plus three, and that gives us our answer of 14. This is what most people consider to be the correct answer. You could interpret the pictures to be slightly different. You could say the coconut might be, say, three-fourths of a coconut, in which case you get a slightly different answer. But 14 is what many people consider to be the correct answer. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google+, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media, at Press Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.